Hi, welcome to another video. Welcome back to The Big Six. Uh, very, very busy day ahead today. Uh, ahead of what will hopefully be a busy weekend because we're a few days away from Christmas. Uh, so lots to do, um, all the usual jobs to do. I've got the line cleaning to do. Um, but yeah, a busy few days getting ready for Christmas. Um, so let's uh, get things cracking and uh, see what we need to do ahead of uh, Christmas weekend. First thing, obviously, is to put the kettle on. So the first job is the cellar. Uh, I've got my coffee, uh, I've got my work boots on, I've got my bleach splattered line cleaning hoodie on. Uh, it is line cleaning day, but I also need to check the cellar because we have ordered a lot of beer uh, ahead of the Christmas weekend. So it's down into the cellar. Certainly looking fuller than normal uh, down here, and there are some more deliveries today. Um, so I just need to get this organised, uh, find a bit of space. Yeah, we are pretty full in here. Uh, the barrels on the left are empties, um, awaiting collection. So yeah, space is gonna be at a bit of a premium down here. Um, but the last thing we want to do over Christmas is run out of beer. Right, that's a little bit better, a little bit more space. Um, nice bit of lower back pain, having to sort of crouch over and do all that lifting. Um, but yeah, a little bit more room. I would suspect that this cask of Ilkley Blonde is gonna be getting racked later on today in the same way that these two barrels, Thunderbridge Stout and White Gold, uh, also won't be too far away from getting racked because as we can see, that barrel of stout there is sort of tilted at quite an angle indicating that um, uh, there's not much left in the barrel. So now, next job, uh, after a quick slurp of coffee, is line cleaning. Um, I've done videos about this before, so I'm not going to go through the whole process again. Um, but line cleaning, a really important weekly task um, for the cask and the keg lines. So that's probably going to take a good couple of hours uh, with the waiting time for the, you know, for the line cleaner uh, in the pipes before it gets flushed out. So. Let's get on with the line cleaning. Right, that's line cleaning done. Uh, we've just had another delivery as well. For the first time, we're trying beers from uh, Nailmaker in Barnsley. Um, just waiting for uh, these four empties to be collected uh, with another delivery today. In fact, another two deliveries today. And then that should be it uh, for Christmas. We've got Quite a range of beers lined up in the cellar. Uh, a lot of them that we've had 
that we're having for the first time, or if not the first time, certainly the uh, first time in a long time, the first time uh, in our ownership of the Big Six. It is 22. I need to go and get cleaned up and then be back here for quarter past three. Before I go, one of the more glamorous jobs, taking the wet bar towels uh, to be washed. Uh, and I'm also taking some complimentary Christmas Kitty festive vanilla porter cans. Uh, we've ordered from Brass Castle Brewery for the first time and they sent me some complimentary cans. So uh, once I finish tonight, I might try one of those. Um, back in at quarter past three, uh, meeting a new cleaner uh, and then I'm on the bar four till seven. So a long old day. Um, getting ready for the run-up to Christmas. So there we go, a very quick turnaround. Um, back ready for opening at uh, four o'clock. Uh, fire is lit. Although it doesn't seem enormously impressive at the minute. I need to give that a bit of a shake up. Um, need to put on Christmas tree lights. I believe this is the first time for many years that, uh, that we've had a Christmas tree. Um, we're all good to go. A couple of packages just to put away in the back and ready for opening at four o'clock. Leeds Pale. Sunbeam Parachute and Hedgehog, Kirksell Pale Ale and Salopian Cashmere are our opening beers on this Thursday before Christmas. So back again, a uh, quick turnaround from last night, uh, it was uh, Mad Friday, uh, nice and busy at tea time, uh, full pub by uh, five o'clock which is uh, not a bad thing, did quite enough uh, later on, um, but yeah, nice and busy early doors. Uh, quick turnaround, uh, back in again this morning, opening at one. Uh, it's a Saturday. Uh, did a few of the jobs last night um, before I went home. Uh, but let's get things set up for what could be potentially a, uh, a busy Saturday just before Christmas Eve. Couple of changes on the bar. Uh, we've now got Ilkley Blonde uh, for the first time. Uh, Friday Feeling, uh, a dark chocolate stout, which was uh, very popular. Um, Ainsty's Cool Citra, a cracking uh, American pale ale, 4.4. And going on today is Small World's Twin Falls. Uh, the very popular cashmere did finally run out yesterday. Uh, so the first job down in the cellar is to uh, get that swapped over uh, and get the Twin Falls on. Cellar looking nice and well stocked. Uh, no more deliveries now uh, before Christmas. And as we can see, that's fully tilted. So we can see that that's gone off um, and uh, ready for to be changed. So as soon as the space becomes empty on the gantry, uh, really important that we get another one um, lined up and settling. Um, so we're going to do that. I've got this barrel of sloping golden thread. Um, 
So that's on the gantry and starting to settle. Uh, so I'm going to swap the uh, the lines over, give it a clean, and we're good to go with the uh, next barrel of uh, Twin Falls. So when we've got an empty barrel, just need to do a couple of things. We take out the um, tap uh, that goes into a bucket ready to get a good wash and we put in a little cork and keeps the barrel sealed just in case there are any sort of slops or uh, sediment in the bottom that um, we don't want to uh, pour out all over some uh, poor draymen. Um, so we're all good there, the Twin Falls is um, connected. I'm going to have a quick check the rest of the cellar. You can see by the angle of this one, this uh, popular Ilkley Blonde that went on yesterday, that that is quite likely to uh, run out quite shortly. But we've got another barrel tapped and ready to go. And then yet another one that has been vented um, but it's not yet been tapped, so we won't tap this one until this one has emptied. Uh, looking down here, we've got a nice pile of um, dark beers ready to go on here, uh, but they're looking okay for the moment, as is the mid strength beer. This Ainsty's Cool Citra uh, went on last night, um, so we've got that, uh, that set up for the day. Uh, right, I think that's it for down here. Cellar, good to go. Okay, so time for that cup of coffee. So fire going nicely, it is still a bit of a miserable, blustery, rainy day out there. Um, some lights on. Um, we have got the tree through here. Fridges all stocked, uh, we stock up at the end of the night, just sort of give maximum uh, chilling time, so we're all good to go from the start. Uh, we had a wine delivery yesterday, uh, and the vocation cans that we do, uh, so we're all good in here. Plenty of ice, plenty of snacks, plenty of glasses, and the pile of uh, secret Santa presents that the, uh, the staff have done. Bar is all set and good to go. And we are opening at one, which gives me plenty of time. Uh, I did the cashing up last night uh, when I closed up. Uh, I think get me brew and uh, see if there's anything else that I need to do before we uh, before we open at one. What I do need to do, uh, I've updated the sheets because uh, we no longer do um, Merlot as a red wine, so I've just updated it um, for Malbec and Shiraz. So I'll get those changed. So quite a few folk uh, already in, half past two uh, on a Saturday afternoon. Uh, Dishwasher's on on its first run. So, yeah, let's hope it continues uh, nice and steady away. So that's it, Christmas is over. It's the day after Boxing Day. 
Uh, I'm back in just to uh, assess where we are after what has been an exceptionally busy Christmas. Uh, can't complain at that, so if you did come to see us, thank you so much. Uh, it has been, a, been a, a really busy Christmas up here at the Big Six, uh, which means that now Christmas is over, Between that, in that lull between Christmas and New Year, there's a lot to do. Yeah, there's bills to be paid, there's deliveries to be received, there is ice to be replenished, um, fridges to check. It does look, unfortunately, as if we have run out of the Thundering Molly cider. Uh, so no Thundering Molly until the 2nd of January. So as I said, we've had a very busy Christmas, uh, which clearly I'm not going to complain about. Um, does mean we've got a bit more space down here. We've still got uh, a few barrels left of the uh, mid-strength pump which should get us through the new year. Four barrels here of uh, dark which should comfortably get us through the new year. Uh, the old mill, still five racks there but those are all empties in the corner. We're um, hoping for a delivery uh, tomorrow. The one area when I did run out or was getting low was the strong beer. Uh, but we've had a delivery today from Goose Eye of their Pommy's Revenge, uh, which was good that they could come out at shut, shut, such short notice. Uh, and down here, we've still got quite a bit of our session pump beer all lined up. But the problem we do have is empties. So this cellar is now getting pretty chock-a-block with empties so uh, hopefully brewers will if they're in the area even if we haven't ordered they will call in and pick up their empties most of them do um, but not sure how many of them are actually working between Christmas and New Year so we are running out of space a little bit back there but that is not a bad situation to be in so um, time to get on with this line cleaning I'm going to do the keg pumps first which means filling cistern up here and we'll crack on with the line cleaning right this is going to be a bit of an obstacle course uh, order some extra kegs um, because there won't be a delivery until new year but I still need to get across to change the taps because the line cleaning is done every week. They're still looking in good condition, but they still need to be done, whether they are clean or not. It's a weekly task. Um, so I need to get across and change these taps. Uh, so yeah, not easy to do with um, a camera in your hand, but the tap is moved from the barrel. So handles removed from all the barrels. Uh, the water tank is filling up with the cleaner. So then it's a case of going back upstairs and pulling that through. Right, we've seen the line cleaning before. Um, all the uh, kegs are all connected up. Um, the line clean is pulled through, so that's going to sit in there for about 20 minutes or so. Uh, I'm going to connect up the cask lines and I'm going to give them their first uh, pull through of line cleaner. So there we go. Uh, kegs, um, kegs and all the casks lines being cleaned. Uh, I've just taken the trays off just to give them a wash. Uh, just let them dry out. Next stop is the cash and carry and the supermarket. Right, there's another one of those winter storms blowing in. That is the errands done for today. All the exciting things that goes on behind the scenes in a pub. Buying tissues, bleach, hand soap, 
uh, bits and pieces from the cash and carry that the wholesaler didn't have. So I'm going to put that all away. I'm going to put these trays back up on the bar. Uh, get all set up uh, for opening at four, which is just over an hour's time. And then that will be it for uh, Christmas at the Big Six. Um, bit of a behind the scenes view. Uh, I've said before, I'm not keen on filming uh, actually when the pub's open. Um, respect people's privacy, especially if people are uh, relaxing and enjoying themselves and had a couple of beers. Um, so, um, yes, yeah, lots more behind the scenes stuff. Uh, thank you if you have uh, come to the pub over Christmas. Thank you for your continued support throughout 2023. Hope you've enjoyed this and uh, I'll maybe see you in the new year.